Steve, a lot of uh, takeaways from that uh, amazing report from Adesua, State Absolutely. House correspondent. Yeah. First, I mean, I guess you wished uh, pr the president a happy, happy birthday, birthday yesterday. We did. I mean, she alluded <laughs> to the fact that he's the first president to celebrate uh, his birthday yeah. while uh, in office at that point. But I mean, I think a lot of points were made by the president. He reiterated the fact that, you know, INET will conduct a free and credible election this year. It's not the first time we're hearing Buhari saying that. Yeah. But as we know, mm. only recently, the Labour Party uh, um, chairman was, you know, he raised alarm talking about the fact that the Labour Party may not actually conduct a, a credible election because of all of the killings and the attacks. We're, you know, hoping to see that we're not going to see this type of violence, um, you know, come February uh, 2023, Steve. Well, I mean, uh, Oji, I think there are two important things. Uh, the symbolism of what happened and then the uh, essence of what the presidency said there. Uh, if we take it first from the symbolism, uh, it was good optics all through yes. uh, for President Muhammadu Buhari. One, he celebrated his 80th birthday, and that was coming on the heels of the adulation, if you like, from President Joe Biden, you know, saying that he was a model mm -hmm. um, of democracy. Uh, which is a good thing for him uh, because uh, whether it was true or not, you remember uh, when he had this same type of uh, meeting with former President you know, Donald Trump, mm. there were insinuations as to how you know, Trump, um, the impression that uh, uh, Donald Trump had of him, you know, uh, the lifelessness of the body and, and things that we couldn't substantiate. But then... Um, uh, meeting with President Biden, whom he had met when Biden was vice president, by the way, mm. you know, uh, it's a good, um, you know, send forth remark from uh, the world's most powerful president yes. to Africa's most powerful president, you know. And I think that Buhari will return to Nigeria feeling cool and feeling fulfilled, you know. Uh, the other part of the symbolism of what happened after the old... A U.S. Um, African leaders for one thing is the fact that the president now chose to engage with Nigerians. Nigerian. You know, first with the uh, United States Peace Institute, you know, and then um, having a town hall that was different from all the sort of controversies that we've been hearing about town halls and one-on-one -on -one interviews. And the key symbolism that you take away from there is the fact that at the UN, US uh, Peace Institute, he sat one-on-one, -on -one, spoke extempore, and answered questions that were posed at him yes. as a sitting president of Nigeria. And I think that that will be instructive at a time that people are saying, how are things done properly? What, what constitute propriety when a sitting president or an aspiring president uh, is trying to speak to people at a town hall. I, I, I think without raising any issues, without you know, uh, jumping up and down, President Muhammadu Buhari has just shown it by what he did at the institute and the town hall meetings, yeah. different, you know, that he had uh, with Nigeria. So I think that he will return back to base, you know, feeling fulfilled, having engaged with people, and he can say that yes, I am not perfect. But I think that I've given it my best shot. Yes. You know, and, and, and that should be good enough. So uh, whoever would take over uh, from him should at least find one area to emulate him. By the way, you remember that when he went to Chatham House, you know, uh, after delivering his own speech, he, f you know, fielded questions directly and answered them in total yes. by himself. You know, so again, at 80, he had done a similar thing, not in... The UK this time around, but in the US, which is remarkable, yeah. it's commendable, and should serve as an example to all Nigerians who might be wondering as to what constitutes a town hall. I like how Steve highlighted that, and I, you know, I hope that the people that are, that are supposed to be listening are listening to you. But another thing that uh, Adeswa's um, report highlighted there was. Um, 
President Buhari's administration and how he has, you know, empowered a lot of women in his administration. Oh, yeah. He appointed the first, you know, uh, female ambassador to the U.S. I believe her name is Uzoma Emenike. I Uzoma mean, Ikechi that, Emenike. Emenike, yes, Absolutely. which is, you know, like this report, um, reporter highlighted that, you know, it's not something that people are talking about. And I think that is important, you know, this uh, idea of inclusiveness, uh, uh, women in power, women, more women in politics in Nigeria should be um, emulated. Yeah, I absolutely think it's laudable. Yes. And I hate to be a wet blanket, but I also wouldn't say that it's, it shouldn't be, it should be expected as yes. a bare minimum. Um, it shouldn't be a round of applause for, for appointing a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it should be, well, you know, everyone is doing what they should be doing. Yes. Um, and it's good to see, of course, there are women who are also coming up to to the stage in terms of having the right qualifications, having the voice to be up there. So as opposed to just appointed women for the sake of doing that, yeah. these are actually women who fit yeah. the, the seat. And, and that's absolutely quite exemplary. Absolutely. With, with what Steve was mentioning earlier in terms of, you know, the president also getting feedback from President Joe Biden. Yes, that's so refreshing and reinvigorating for, for President Buhari as well, because he will bring all of that energy yeah. back. to And we're already seeing that even pre- the return, yeah. you know, <laughs> and yeah. hopefully, like you mentioned um, yesterday, his legacy should be that of a of a fair transition mm -hmm. democratically mm -hmm. into the next dispensation. Um, so, so far, already top points for him, I guess it looks, uh, it looks on the heels of his birthday, on his 80th <laughs> birthday. But hopefully, um, we see more in terms of a, a fair transition. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. and I also like the fact that he highlighted um, the insecurity as well, talking yeah, about the did. fact that at this point, or when he came into power, Boko Haram had, you know, some uh, local some territories. Yes, had controlled yeah. some local government area, and and now, you know, Boko Haram has no stronghold. Mm -hmm. um, um, in Nigeria at this point. And, you know, that is another, you know, uh, thing to raise in his administration or what he's done so far and to applaud him for that as well. Well, so I guess... a good uh, one for Mr. Yeah, President. Yes. Yeah, you know. good trip, I guess. A good trip. Say. Good trip. Well, all right.